Imagine being named XYZ in a crowd of other XYZs, a purposeless name that creates confusion. Similarly, Active Directory and Azure AD groups created by users need to have naming practices based on purpose or intent. In this video, we explain some Active Directory group name examples, along with conventional best practices. By understanding these Active Directory group name examples and following these best practices, your users would be able to determine the purpose of each group without any confusion. Let's talk about some Active Directory group name examples and best practices that keep your directory tidy. Number one, be consistent. Consistency is the key. It's essential to have a set of rules to abide by. This helps keep routine practices effortless and hassle-free. Number two, leverage group naming prefixes. It's common in many organizations to enforce a group prefix. Group ID makes it easy to do so by enabling the administrator to predefine naming prefixes that users can select from a drop-down menu. Number three, require group descriptions. While creating a group, make sure you specify a meaningful description for it. In the Active Directory group name example shown here, the highlighted group description speaks to the purpose of the group name. Number four, require approval before group creations. Even with rules intact, approval should be granted before a new group becomes part of your directory. This minimizes risk errors and future problems enforcing group naming conventions best practices via group policy. To apply directory group naming conventions best practices, you need to understand how the naming policies work in Active Directory and Azure Active Directory. Group naming policies in Active Directory. When it comes to group naming policies in Active Directory, there are some limitations because Active Directory does not provide any check on group names except for uniqueness. Therefore, to add more group naming controls, you can integrate Group ID with your Active Directory. Group ID allows you to define multiple group naming policies that align with a set of rules and regulations followed in your organization. Group naming policies in Azure Active Directory. If your naming policy is created in Azure AD and you already have an Exchange Group naming policy in place, the latter won't be applicable. Azure AD will be relevant to the enterprise. The group naming policy in Azure AD can be configured by the Global Administrator, Group Administrator, and Directory Writer roles. The policy applies to both the group name and group alias. The policy applies across workloads such as Teams, SharePoint, and Outlook. It does not apply to specific roles, such as the user administrator and the group administrator. Applying a group naming policy to Active Directory in Azure AD Groups One of the most effective ways to enforce Active Directory and Azure AD Group Naming Convention best practices, especially when you delegate group creation to end users, is by implementing the following group naming policies. Define group name prefixes for groups created in the directory. Standardize group names using regular expressions. Auto-name child groups using a naming template. Prevent users from using certain words in group names. One of the most efficient ways to implement these group naming policies is to integrate the Group ID self-service portal into your organization's IAM infrastructure. Let's dig into how the above policies can be implemented. The Group Name Prefixes policy in the Group ID self-service portal ensures that a prefix is used in a group's name. The administrator can specify a list of prefixes displayed to users in a drop-down list so they can choose one to append to a group's name when creating it. Prefixes can represent the departments in your organization. While creating a group, a user must append a group's name with the prefix that represents their department. Alternatively, you can utilize attributes as prefixes to help identify the department, office, or geographic locale for which the group is created. The figure here shows how group naming prefixes are displayed to the user while creating a group through the Group ID self-service portal. In this group name, GRP underscore USA is the prefix for the marketing group, which shows that this marketing group relates to the team operating in the United States. Regular expressions to validate group names. Regular expressions are used to validate data and ensure it is in a specific format. 
You can leverage regular expressions to validate group names, ensuring that the names follow a standard pattern with group ID. For example, you can apply a regular expression that accepts alpha characters and group names with capitalized first characters. Templates to auto-name child groups. Group ID can create hierarchical group names based on any set of attributes, such as geographical, based on country, state, and city, organizational, based on company, department, and title, managerial, based on managers and their direct reports. It creates a parent group with nested child groups, while auto-naming child groups according to a predefined naming template. This not only helps in assigning logical names to groups, but also helps identify all groups that are nested within a group. Custom Blocked Words Policy The Bad Words feature in Group ID allows you to specify words you want to prevent users from entering in Group ID's self-service portal, whether it's group names, aliases, or values for other attributes. When a user enters a blocked word into the portal, an error is displayed, and the user must change it to proceed. These are the Active Directory and Azure Active Directory group name examples and conventions best practices, along with the description of how Group ID implements them. Follow them to communicate the purpose of each group's existence. You'll have a clear understanding of why groups are created in the directory and how they should be dealt with. Group ID is a comprehensive, out-of-the-box solution recognized as the top identity and management tool. Contact Group ID today for a free demo.